in this video we will learn how to find the value of the game the question is like this find the value of this 2 by 2 game we have player a and player b the player a has a strategy a1 and a2 and player b has the strategies b1 and b2 we need to find out the value of this very game okay let us see it uh, step by step okay so first step is to find row you know a row minimum and column maximum okay column maximum okay so in the first row we take the smallest element so the smallest between 2 and 3 is 2 so i write it here 2 and in the second row we have the smallest uh, number that's minus 1 okay so let me write it here so this is row minimum second step is to find out column uh, okay so the second part is to find out the column maximum so in the column side we find out the maximum values okay so the maximum between 4 and 2 is 4 and the maximum uh, outcome between 3 and minus 1 is 3 so we call this column maximum okay column maximum this is first step second step is to find out the maximum maximum and minimax okay by maximum maximum we mean the maximum value of row minimum okay so uh, the maximum value of these two numbers that is 2 and minus 1 which comes out to be 2 so it is called maximum okay maximum of the row minimum okay so this is our maximum and also we need to find out the minimax so minimum or the maximum column values okay so minimum uh, between uh, 4 and 3 is uh, 3 so we write here this as minimax okay simple thing it's no you, uh, not twisted okay so first step was to find out the row minimum and column maximum second step was to find out the maximum of the uh, you know row minimum and the minimum of the column maximum okay now we have to check out a condition that means uh, that is that if maximum if maximum is not equal to minimax it implies that the game has no saddle point okay it implies the game has no saddle point here we can see maximum is 2 and minimax is 3 and 2 is not equal to 3 that means this game has no saddle point if the game has no saddle point okay then what happens that means we can find out the mixed probabilities here okay if the game has no settle point then the game is said to have mixed strategy okay so how do we find out uh, then if uh, these two values were same so we will uh, say that the game has settle point if the game has no settle point then we can find out the mixed strategies okay now the third step is to find the ornaments okay so third step will be to find ornaments okay and how do we find the ornaments let me uh, write it again here this column okay so let us write this uh, again so we have okay so let me uh, write it uh, we have two two 4 3 minus 1 so our third step is to find out the ornaments how do we find the ornaments okay for first row what we do we take the difference between highest outcome and uh, lowest outcome and write the difference at the right side of second row okay that means the difference between 3 minus 2 is 1 so we write it at the right side of second row so it is 1 here and similarly for this uh, second row what we do we take the difference between 4 and minus 1 and write it 
at the right side of the first row so the difference between 4 and minus 1 is 5 i will write it here and same uh, you know process applies for columns okay so the difference between first column the difference between the values of the first column is that means 4 minus 2 we write it here which is 2 that means uh, the difference between highest outcome and lowest uh, outcome of the first column and we write it at the bottom of the second column and similarly the difference between 3 and minus 1 is 4 and we write it at the bottom of the first column okay so we write it diagonally so we have here 4 okay so this is our argument how do we find the arguments next step is to find the probabilities of each row okay and each column obviously how do we find we know that uh, this is player 1 the strategy for player a1 sorry player 1 rather player a player a plays a1 and a2 and player b plays b1 and b2 okay let us suppose a uh, player player a plays strategy a1 with probability x then the probability with which he will play the strategy a2 will be equal to 1 minus x simple thing okay uh, if it is that our person our uh, you know player is playing a strategy a1 with 60 percent chance then obviously he will play a2 with 40 percent probability okay that simply x is the probability of choosing a strategy a1 uh, 1 minus x is the strategy of you know, you know uh, sorry probability of playing a2 and similarly for uh, player b let us say he plays a b1 strategy with probability y that means playing b2 strategy will be 1 minus y okay now how do we find out uh, the corresponding probabilities the probability that player a will choose a1 how do we write it simply what we do here we take this ornament okay corresponding ornament which is for you and divide it by the row ornament sum of the row ornament that means for you plus one for you plus one which comes out to be for you upon six that means player one chooses a strategy a1 with probability for you upon six and similarly to find uh, the p that means the strategy of playing a2 so we write this corresponding ornament which is one and divided by the sum of the ornaments that means 5 plus 1 here again 5 plus 1 which comes out to be 1 upon 6 and same thing we do for the columns okay so uh, you know the probability of choosing b1 strategy will be equal to the corresponding ornament corresponding ornament which is 4 okay so uh, which is 4 here so let me write it here 4 upon the sum of the ornaments on this side that means 4 plus 2 4 plus 2 which comes out to be uh, 4 upon 6 and similarly at this point playing uh, this strategy that means b2 will be equal to we write this corresponding ornament which is 2 and divide it by sum of the ornaments that means 4 plus 2 4 plus 2 which comes out to be 2 upon 6 okay what is our strategy profile then uh, probabilities associated so probabilities associated is simply for player a for player a you know uh, probability of choosing a1 strategy and probability of choosing a2 strategy is simply equal to 5 upon 6 and 1 upon 6 this is the strategy profile for player a and for player b player b you know uh, probability of choosing you know b1 uh, strategy and probability of choosing b2 strategy will be equal to so playing b1 is 4 upon 6 and playing b2 is 2 upon 6 okay now let's find the value of the game okay 
value of game okay so value of game is simply there are you know number of methods to calculate the value of a game in case of two by two game okay so let us uh, see the easiest one is simply what we do we take the first column and we multiply the first column with the corresponding row ornaments and add them okay so what we do here so value of the game will be equal to we take the first column and multiply uh, the elements of the first column with their corresponding ornaments okay so if we take this column we multiply it with the corresponding ornaments okay that means value of the game will be 2 into 5 okay plus uh, 4 into 1 okay then what we do we divide it by the sum of the row ornaments okay so our sum of the row ornament is 5 plus 1 that means 5 plus 1 which comes out to be so 2 5 are 10 uh, plus 4 is 14 upon 6 so we got 14 upon 6 is the value of the game and if you solve it it will come out to be 2.3 okay this is how do we find out the value of the game let me repeat it here to find the value of the game we take the first column and multiply the first column with the corresponding row ornaments and add them up thereafter we divide it by the sum of the row ornaments okay i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you